Vegetarianism might be on the rise, but for plenty of families, meat is still at the center of their meals. While there's no denying it provides some crucial nutrition, spoiled meat can be downright dangerous. Want to know how to spot meat that's starting to turn? We have you covered. Anytime you consume bad meat, you're putting your body at risk of food poisoning. Spoiled meat is full of bacteria, which can lead to vomiting, diarrhea, and even hospitalization. A far different trip than a cookout you may have had planned. Real tomato ketchup, Patty? Oh, nothing but the best. It might be chicken that's most widely associated with bacteria like salmonella, but it's not just poultry you need to be careful with. According to Healthline, ground beef can also pose risks. With any fresh meat, you want to make sure that what you're cooking with won't pass on any foodborne illness to you and your dinner guests. Fortunately, it's fairly easy to tell if what was once going to be your famous chicken bake casserole has turned into the latest ride on the Trash Chute Express. You'll just need to rely on sight and smell. Here's what to look for when inspecting that raw meat in your fridge. It may sound simple, but the easiest way to see if raw meat has gone bad is to check the date on the meat's label from the grocery store. Fresh chicken, beef, or other meats stored in your fridge should be consumed by the printed expiration date at the latest. Freezing fresh meat is a convenient way to extend its shelf life, though it may affect the meat's taste. With both chicken and beef, the USDA recommends either using fresh meat within one to two days of purchase or freezing it to use safely at a later date. Meat should be kept in a refrigerator that maintains a temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Above that, you run the risk of developing bacteria. Use it within one or two days or freeze it at zero degrees Fahrenheit. According to the USDA, meat that is kept frozen continuously will be safe indefinitely. It might not taste as good, but at least you'll know it's safe to eat. And how about your frozen things? Oh yes, there's a place for them too, in this big, big food freezer. While you shouldn't rely on the food sniff test alone, if the meat in your fridge is giving off a foul odor, it's safe to assume it's no longer good. Much like you see on crime dramas, when you smell something rancid, you know something has gone bad. Because of this, smell has become the easiest way to know you're in the presence of spoiled meat. Still, as the USDA notes, bacteria such as salmonella and E. coli can't be detected by smell. Even if your raw meat doesn't have a stench emanating from it, you should still check its texture and color. If you take a quick whiff of your poultry and have to turn away swiftly, it's safe to say it shouldn't be consumed. Still, there's a footnote to that. Raw meat that smells like potent veggies such as garlic or onions isn't cause for concern if the meat was stored near these items in the fridge. If you've given that package of meat the sniff test and haven't smelled anything off, you can give it a quick look and see all you need to know. While bacteria can cause that well-known and dreadful smell, the telltale odor may not be present. There are a few other things to look for. Spoiled meat will change color. Beef should always be a bright red color pork, a grayish pink, and chicken, a whitish pink. If your meat doesn't match these colors, don't eat it. While a lack of oxygen might mean the center of meat like ground beef may turn a grayish brown, odd colors on the outside are a sign you've missed the window to use it. Bottom line, if it's starting to turn gray, green, or brown, that's a sign that spoilage is setting in. As for the texture of the meat, does it feel slimy or sticky? If you answered yes, throw it out. If the smell, texture, or color of your raw meat is off, or even worse, all three, head to your local grocer and get a replacement. You want your Sunday dinner to be memorable, just not for the wrong reasons. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about the kitchen safety tips you need to know are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.